great friend of all of Bonds is Mr. James Curry. Uh, he is the host and producer of Burning Adventures TV. And uh, the new one is Ariel, Ariel Assassins, appearing on National Geographic and Burning Adventures TV on NBC Sports Outdoors. Just for those of you that don't know me, I've had a lifelong passion for bird watching. And I don't actually like the term bird watching. You know what? Because bird watching has these connotations of being a passive pastime. A bunch of old grannies sitting in their backyard watching sparrows come to their feeders. I prefer the term birding because that's an active pursuit where we get out and we enjoy nature, we enjoy wildlife, and we enjoy birds. So I'm going to quickly demo the Hobie Mirage kayak for you guys because this is a wonderful opportunity to get out and get up close and personal with some wonderful birds. Hobie actually looked to nature and more specifically birds to actually find out what is the most efficient way to paddle a, to pedal a kayak. And penguins, in fact the Gentoo penguin, believe it or not, is one of the fastest, most agile animals in the sea. It can swim with those little flippers, tiny little flippers, at speeds of up to 40 kilometers an hour. When you're taking this type of kayak out into nature and you want to get close to birds like great horned owls and American kestrels right here, you really want to look at what I call the six S's of kayaking excellence. The binoculars over the banks and you can see exactly what's over the banks there, looking for wildlife around you. So, what these Mirage kayaks have is a very, very wide hull and a very, very stable deck, which allow you to have great stability. A bird like an American kestrel is a very skittish bird. It'll sit on top of a piece of wood, top of a tree, and you want to be able to get up on that bird quickly, but silently and with stealth, so that you can get up to that bird take your photographs, get your videography, and make a show about it. My name is Bryce King. I'm a wildlife specialist at the Ogden Nature Center. Today we have brought an American kestrel. Uh, this is Jetta. Jetta is a female American kestrel. Kestrels, the male and female, can be identified by the two different colorations. The males have bluish wings, bluish gray, where the, the females have the reddish back and reddish tail. But they do have the stripes down their face, both of them. And they have the one stripe under the eye, which is called a mallard stripe. Honestly, they've got to be the bravest birds of prey out there. I've seen these little kestrels go after hawks and eagles way bigger than them. They're so, so aggressive and they're awesome little predators. Most important when you're trying to photograph or video wildlife is stealth. Or if you just want to enjoy wildlife through your binoculars, you want to be able to get up close on that wildlife and you don't want it to get spooked. Now traditional paddles, when you're paddling like that, a spooky bird like an American kestrel is going to spot that movement, that erratic movement of the paddle, the glint of the silver on the paddle in many cases and it's going to take off straight away. The splashing in the water is also going to make that bird disappear very, very quickly. So what Hobie's done with the Mirage Drive is that there's no splashing. Here we are. This movement is very fluid, it's not jerky, it doesn't spook wildlife. I've got seriously close to brown bears on rivers, I've got seriously close to bald eagles, they don't even notice it. And if you want to take it one step further, you use the Dodger on some of our models, on some of our kayaks, which you can actually use this to even cover the action of your legs as you're paddling. Look at that got camo there, obviously my legs are very long here, so, um, but it's hiding the action. Nobody likes to be wet in a kayak, if you do like to be wet in a kayak, you're at the wrong kayak booth right now, because Hobie's kayaks have self-draining scuppers in the decks, which means that as you're paddling, a little bit of water is coming through from your Mirage Drive, but all your equipment staying dry. This thing is self-draining, you're remaining dry the entire time. Awesome and very, very important. The other thing about this drive, by the way, is you don't get that irritating drip from the paddle. You know when you're paddling with a normal kayak and that drip comes down and makes you wet the whole time, gets over your binoculars, fogs them up, you've got none of that, no problems anymore. The fifth S of kayaking excellence, this is what I like to call steering, obviously, because you need to steer a kayak. And this is where Hobie's come up with an ingenious design called the twist and stow rudder. 
you can see me just at my fingertips here. And the last S comes is, is storage. Very important when you're heading out into the wild with lots of gear, camera equipment. When I'm going on these adventures as I do around the world, I've got camera equipment, I've got tripods. And by the way, the decks here are awesome to set up a tripod between your legs and to get shots of birds if you're, a, if you're a photographer or a videographer. Set up your tripod, put it down to its lowest angle, and you're just getting these awesome shots as you go in slowly towards wildlife. But storage is very important. This is the i9 version of the Mirage. The i12 version actually has a storage hatch in the front where you can use that storage hatch, hatch for multi-day adventures. So whether you want to go out for an afternoon stroll in your kayak or you want to go on a multi-day wildlife adventure, these kayaks have got it all. I want to just close by telling you the most important thing that I haven't mentioned yet about the Mirage Drive is the fact that it is hands-free. And this is the beautiful part about it. If you want to go and enjoy wildlife, you're going to need binoculars, a good pair of them like Nikon or one of the other pairs and what I tell you you need to do is just enjoy it on your kayak you don't need to use your paddle all you need to do is I've got my, my hand on the mic now uh, but you've got both hands free to really enjoy wildlife all around you it's fantastic Hobie also does the accessories for these kayaks brilliantly and this kayak can morph into pretty much anything you want it to be we've got an accessories catalog here that you can look at later but you can attach a sail to these kayaks. You can attach fishing rods to these kayaks if you want to. The other great addition here, and this is something which is awesome for photography, is you can mount a little GoPro camera on one of these and you can actually film your own wildlife adventure. And this is something which is very useful for us in the TV industry. When I'm paddling along, we've got a different perspective with a fisheye lens on a GoPro or one of those smaller cameras. And we can mount that on the front or the back of the kayak which is pretty awesome. The one final thing I want to chat to you about is how easy this particular kayak is to travel with. I can travel all over the world with this kayak. I simply deflate it and this is what it fits up to. Fits into. Hold it up there Bill. It's got wheels, so easy to transport it and I can tell you something, I can pump up this kayak in two minutes easily with minimal effort and enjoy my wildlife adventure. Thank you so much everybody, we hope to see you out there.